All right, I got about an hour of time to kill before I go into work tonight. And this is just gonna be another plugging video. We're at June 29th, 2022 today. Sand leveling projects coming along pretty good. Still got some bare areas down the edge of the road and that's what we're gonna be addressing today. This is a nice, healthy stand of turf that we're taking these plugs out of. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. Got a few mushrooms in here from the compost that I spread when I seeded it. We're gonna be pulling these plugs out of the same 9,000 square foot plot that we sand leveled. I thought about getting them out of my corner of my front yard where it'd be a little bit less noticeable. Uh, but uh, since I'm dealing with that centipede issue over there, I definitely don't wanna be transplanting that over here. Let's take a look at this plug. So you can see there's my clay based soil on bottom. And then we've got a nice sand capping on top. Some areas it's gonna be a little bit deeper than others. Um, I'd say that's probably about half an inch deep of sand. Good healthy looking plug. I'm sure anybody that's watching this video is familiar with this tool, but this is the Pro Plugger. And uh, it does work just as good as everybody says it does. And it's a great investment if you have a warm season type grass. So since this is a little bit larger area, this is how I'm gonna alternate my pattern. And really, you could put double this amount in there or half that amount. Really, just depends on how quick you want it to fill in. One thing to consider, since this is Zenith Zoysia, uh, you could seed the area, but there's just a lot of stuff that comes with seeding, mainly the watering requirements I just don't want to deal with. So after we get them set down in the hole, I'm just going to come through and I'm just going to lightly step on them. And you just want to make sure you get all the air out from around the roots. Take a look at this plug we just pulled. Look at those rhizomes growing under the ground. That's a good sign of a healthy zoysia loan. You can see the runners on top here. It'll have this area filled in in no time if people would quit running off the road. Since we're not working too far away, I just carry the plugs back and forth and I'm just back filling the, where I got the plugs with the dirt that I got out from the road. And then um, it's not gonna fill it up perfect or level or anything, but it's gonna get it pretty close and I'll just come through with some sand and I'll just top dress this. It'd take just a few shovels of sand in a couple minutes. It seems like the end of these videos are getting pretty redundant uh, for where I live. We stay in the 90s for most of the summer and it's just brutal and dry. So irrigation and water is king around here. So the last step is always gonna be start up the irrigation, soak these plugs down, try to get all the air out from around the roots and really get them settled in. <laughs> 